Hello everybody, I uh, finally got my panel meter, which is a true RMS panel meter, which some com people complain about and stuff like that, so I want to dispel any of those uh, rumors. I know the digital multimeters don't work uh, as well at reading the amps, so that's why I spent the $25 on this excellent panel meter. So I want to show you guys exactly what the readings are. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. This is on the... Um, I'm using the alternator and the collapsed um, magnetic field off the second winding, the 26 gauge winding on the coil and I'll show you how I have that hooked up. I put two caps together in series so and I'll show you the light and stuff like that. I want to show you the readings. You can see it's at zero. I'll get this sucker cranked up here. Just to watch it go up. that it's at a hundred milliamps. The next panel meter I'm going to get is going to read up to five milli, uh, five amps. So it shows more of a, a gradient. But you can see that it's right at a hundred milliamps. Okay. So now, I'm going to show you how that setup is. And of course, what I really want to show you is the pulse side of what's going into the motor. Okay? So 100 milliamps. Let me take this off of here. So this is how I have it set up. I have the second winding, the smaller deal, going into the bridge, and I put a diode going into the cap from the, this is from the alternator, and this is from the uh, second winding, and this white one, as you can see, is connected to the black, going up to the amp meter through that to the light bulb. And there it is, standing bright. So now I'm going to shut this off and hook it up to the pulse side. And then I'm going to give you voltage readings on both as well. Okay. This is on the pulse going into the motor. This side goes into the positive. And this goes into the trigger. Just want to make sure you guys can see that. Get that up to speed. Adjust the timing and get it up to speed. actually reading between 0 and 100 milliamps. So let's just call it 50 milliamps. Okay. Everybody's satisfied with that. I let it run. It's not kicking up anymore. Thank you. 
show you. There's the light bulb, so you can see everything's connected. And I haven't even tested the back EMF on this light bulb, which was also running when I showed you the amperage on that. Okay. So if everybody's satisfied with that, I hope. Looks like 50 milliamps. Okay, so it hooked up. going into the deal. So we can watch it go down. Just to show you what's going on. And I will take that off so you can see the drop on the meter. See how it drops down. So that's all it's pulling. 50 milliamps. Uh, light bulbs slowly fading away. Now I'm going to hook it up to this light bulb, which is the back EMF. And I'll be right back. Okay, now this is hooked up to the back EMF light bulb and capacitor. Let me get this going again. See the change, and that's about another fifty milliamps. See the needle move. Everybody's satisfied with that. And then when I take that off, you can also see the needle move. Alright. Now let's measure some voltage. Okay. So let's measure some voltage. This is the voltage on the battery. 12.21 The voltage on the back EMF 12.21 9.67 no. Let's say 9.7 And the voltage on the alternator and the electricity created from the collapsing magnetic field. 